Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I'm here to talk about my weekly wrap up of all the K-pop that's happened this past week. So what I try to do in this is I try to go over and talk about every single thing that came out this week that I know of. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's do this. I do keep it to just the Korean releases. So let's start out with the big one. And that is going to be Itzy's Dala Dala. If you watch my other video about Itzy's Breaking Records, you might know that I am kind of mixed with how I feel about Dala Dala. So Dala Dala is, it's this track that is defined and described as color pop. It has this girl crush kind of vibe to it. Um, and I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the whole color pop thing and maybe that's why I ended up not absolutely loving it. Right now as it stands, this song just doesn't stick with me after I walk away from the song, but I don't hate it either. So if it comes on, chances are I'm probably going to be enjoying it. But if it goes away, I'm never going to get that urge or itch to listen to it again. Spurt sections just work together really well. They're able to transition easily, which makes those disparate sections not seem so different from each other. All of this said, the choreo for this song is freaking awesome. Like the girls are absolutely killing it. And I'm really interested to see what they will be doing going forward. The next track we are going to be talking about is a little bit of Taemin's Want. And let me just tell y'all, Taemin does not know how to disappoint. He repeatedly delivers time and time again. And while his style is a little bit more dancey than I personally enjoy, for some reason, some way, he managed to make his, he manages to make his songs still sound really, really pleasing to my ear. And it's something about the way he does dance. While it's not my favorite genre, not something I go towards, he does it so well in a way that I really enjoy it. So props to Taemin for that. As usual, choreography in a Taemin video is amazing. Taemin is just an amazing dancer and it shows. Choreography in Want is no different. It's hard to wonder how you can't love Taemin and this video is visually gorgeous. Once is just this feast of lack of color and color pops and just it's just really well done, really artistic, and it's really enjoyable and pleasing to watch. Next, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Hwasa's twit. And I didn't listen to any of the teasers, but I'm just like, okay, Hwasa's going to drop a track. And I've liked the Hwasa solos before, so I'm just like, okay, let's see what Hwasa's first solo, like proper solo, like on her own solo, not a Mama Moose Hwasa solo, but Hwasa on her own, this is it. And Twit is a really smooth song. I actually really, really enjoy it. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, just because I'm just like Hwasa completely on her own. Is she gonna pull off a style that I personally really enjoy? And she does. I really, really enjoy this song. It's one of those songs that did stick in my head and it stuck with me. And it was a lot of fun to listen to in general. So yeah, for Hwasa. Also, she was really just like, okay, JYP, I can up the ante on clear pants. Check this out. Okay, Hwasa, I see you. Next, I'm gonna be talking about Dreamcatcher's Pity. Okay. Pity is an absolutely amazing song. It is amazing via the actual song. It is amazing from the choreography. It is amazing from the actual backing track in the song. It's just a phenomenal song. It's really well done. And it's probably my favorite song that's come out this week. And who knows, it might end up being my favorite song of the month, but it does have this typical Dreamcatcher sound. It does have that rock element. But what was really interesting is that there were more hip hop elements that were brought into this song, but it was done in a way that it really smoothed together. 
And I was really impressed by that. Also, there was the use of the flute throughout the song. It made it sound very unique. You don't hear flute in that many songs, and to have it in this song and so prominent in it, it really made it stand out and added this little extra element to it. As usual, the choreography with Dreamcatcher is amazing. Dreamcatcher knows how to do choreography, and they don't disappoint at all. They just, they just, they just come at you hard. Next, I'm going to speak quickly about Infinite's clock, which is five members of Infinite. Currently, there are six members, but Thank you, you baby, is currently enlisted. So this is just the five members that are currently out and about free to do this right now. Clock is just a really, really chill song. It's one of those songs that you put on and you can relax, you can chill. It's not going to be too disturbing. It has enough vocal intricacy that it remains interesting. Wu Hyun's voice is phenomenal as always. And it was really nice since you have a step back and you don't have Gyu in it, you actually get more Yoli singing, which is wonderful. And Yoli was rapping too. Yoli was just all over right now. Dongbu's rap was really nice as well, but what really threw me and was still really nice was all of a sudden, Sung Jong was rapping. I was completely, completely blown by that. Um, but, once Sung Jong rapped, I was just like, I'm done. It's sending me. It's amazing. But yeah, it's, you, you should just hear it. It's. Oh, Sung Jong. But I love him. And this song was really, really chill and relaxing. So I can dig it. And finally, we have an SM Station release, which was a key song. And I love key. Key is my bias in case you did not know. And it is called Cold featuring Hanhei. And I really dug it. It was like this chill R&B song and Key's voice suited it really, really well. It's like super smooth and chill. And the actual MV was kind of interesting. It was very stark like drabbed and drained colors and things were in black and white at set times too and it was just really visually appealing but it was like he watching things in the monitor watching things go and then everything just disappearing around him and things just changing and him not really sure what's going on but he just kept going and i kind of get the whole idea of the cold but it was a really chill song and i really enjoyed it and yeah it's just Key is just lovely. But if you guys like this video, please make sure you like it. And if you'd like to see more wrap ups like this, make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know what songs you guys are excited to see coming up. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.